Today is day four of week two. We're at the end of our eight days of Paul John whiskey from India. Uh, basically, I'd like to thank everyone involved who, who helped out with that, uh, starting with Mark Westmoreland, who introduced me to Paul John whiskey on Facebook, and and literally introduced me to a couple of people from Paul John, including uh, Craig Watson and Devin Velarde. And Devin has been very kind to send me all these bottles that we could taste together and enjoy quite a bit. So. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is, Devin, thank you for uh, having Paul John sponsor the show for the last two weeks, basically. I really appreciate it. I have enjoyed every day of it. And today we're doing the last one. The last one is right here. And this is it. It's peated. Peated. Because we've gone all the way from no peat at all to all peated. All peated. I don't know who this guy Pete is, but he's very popular. This one specifically is 111 proof. It's a big jump. And I'm looking forward to it. So let's get to it. Let's nose it, shall we? Because it's been sitting here breathing. Oh, it's very nice. It's uh, it's rich. It's lush. It's relaxed. Can whiskey be relaxed? Because it is. It's almost as if the peat is at the bottom of the glass going, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Whenever you're ready. Oh, my gosh. And some spices going on. But I can smell the smoke. This time, the smoke is much, um, much more prominent than the spices. This is going to be a good one. Slancha. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. <laughs> the smoke is right there at the top. And you know me, you know I love it. And it's hard for me to get even past the smoke right now because I'm enjoying it so much. But let's let's do that. Let's see what else we got. It's almost like smoking, smoky frosting. Almost. It's not quite that sweet. But it's more sugary than it is honey. The finish is more peat, more smoke. And the sugary kind of, it turns into a, um, like a milk chocolate or a cocoa. I thought I had a, a, a taste of, of citrus there. It's not there. Maybe the water will bring it up because this could be a lot of fun. Pete's there. The peat is still there. Spices have gone way, way low. They're not gone, but they're at the very bottom. It's, it's still the peat and the smoke. So let's taste it. Ooh. The sugar is a little more. It's very, it's almost silky. Oh, I like that. It's really nice. Uh, it's more of a liquid. It's more of a liquid sugar is what I was going to say, but it's a liquid, so that's redundant. I'm looking for that orange thing. It's, it's, it's very subtle. It's very nice. Maybe it's just a zest instead of uh, more of an orange, orange thing. It's just an orange zest kind of feel. It's very nice. It's very nice. And the peat is just on point. It is so good. It's very good. And I'm very glad I got to share this with you right here on Eric Levinson, Whiskey Aficionado. Again, I have to thank Devin for all of these bottles and letting us enjoy these together over the last two weeks. And thank you to Paul John in general for, again, sponsoring our show for the last two weeks. I really appreciate it. Tonight, I'm actually going on Instagram to watch him do a tasting of Paul John stuff with some friends. So I'm looking forward to that. So if you're around on Instagram at 6.30 New York time, then you should drop in and see uh, what's going on. You should. Devin Velarde. Look him up. Paul John. Look it up. You'll enjoy. So next week, I'm going to take off. I've gotten to the point where I really can't spend any more money on, on bottles. It would be irresponsible of me to keep spending money on bottles when I just don't know when I'm going to go back to work. If you have bottles that you would like to send me, send me a message and let me know and we will try to work that out. If you don't know what bottles you would like to send but you'd like me to get something and you'd like to uh, help with that, that cost, let me know uh, and we can work that out. I'll tell you how we can work that out. Thank you for the last couple of weeks. We've been enjoying some fantastic bottles that I just 
I'm so thankful for and so grateful that we got to taste these things and that people uh, seem to like what we're doing here. And I appreciate that a lot. So this has been Eric Levitin, Whiskey Aficionado, and I'll see you in a week. Well, 10 days. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs>